Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite, and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but what we can do is figure out a few things that God isn't. So for today, we're asking the question, is God matter? In order to understand whether God is matter, we first need to know what matter is. The word matter refers to any kind of physical substance which occupies space and possesses mass. Furthermore, all the matter that we're aware of can also be divided into multiple parts, so being able to be divided into parts is usually considered a common trait of matter. Last time, we determined that God isn't a body, however, so it seems impossible for God to be matter without a body. There are a few reasons for thinking that God can't be matter. One is that all matter occupies space, and not being bodily, God doesn't do that. The second reason to think that God can't be matter is the way that matter behaves. As we discussed near the beginning of the Afterlife episodes, we recognize that some things are good because they work right. Why do they work right? Because they have a shape and form which allows them to perform their intended function. In this way, material things receive their goodness from their form. However, since God is the original source of all goodness, he can't receive that goodness from anything so he doesn't behave in the way that matter behaves, and therefore he can't be matter. Finally, all matter has potential of one sort or another, something which it can be used to do, and yet which it isn't doing. However, that implies that all matter is inactive in some respect, and that there's an act it can take which it's not taking. As we've shown last episode, God can't be like that, or he wouldn't be able to set anything in motion. Now, some people have said that God needs to have a body, because only a body can experience emotions, and the Bible talks about the laughter, anger, wrath, etc. of God. However, again, these are probably just symbolic imagery designed to teach us about how God reacts to the faithful versus how he reacts to sinners. Some have claimed that it's only because of matter that there's any difference between one thing and another thing. However, we know that's not the case because we can tell the difference between different kinds of numbers and ideas. And more importantly, we can tell the difference between material things and non-material ones. So just because something can be distinct from other things, it doesn't follow that it's matter. Finally, the Bible refers to God as having a soul, and only things made of matter have souls. However, there's no reason to think that God has a soul in the same way that human beings do. The spirit of God is very different from a human spirit, so it might not need a material body in order to make it work. So, in the end, there are some good reasons to think that God isn't matter like we are. Next, is the nature of God simple? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.